Thank you to all of our weather watchers so far who have made submissions. I want to introduce you tonight to one more weather watcher on the island. And when you think about weather experts in Victoria, you, you have to think about Anne McCarthy at Environment Canada. Interestingly enough, she doesn't like snow. Here's why. And I was doing the math, and I have been bugging you about weather stories for like 14 years. It's true, Anne McCarthy and I go way back. I would put it as, um, you're giving me a chance to help for 14 years. No matter how many times I've asked her for an interview, Anne has always done it with a smile, even when we talk about her least favorite weather. What the flake? You don't like this stuff, do you? I hate it. I spent five <laughs> years north of 60. I know what snow is like, and frankly, I don't like it. <laughs> In the Arctic Circle is where it all began for Anne. Right out of high school, she stumbled across a job with Environment Canada. I really got lucky in this case. I got a chance to go up and work in the high Arctic with Environment Canada. So, you know, it was wonderful playing in and you got out every six months or so. And it was, I had a chance to go to a place that most people never even get to see. She thought the post would be temporary. I thought that I would work maybe a year or two at it, save some money and leave. Um, but I keep forgetting to quit. Over the past 30 years, Anne has moved from weather observer to authority in our community, communicating the forecast so it makes sense to yeah. you. You know, we get a nice, every once in a while, we get a nice dry June. I think about the local farmers getting two crops of hay. So now everything I see about the weather, I think in terms of what will be the impact? What will that change in somebody's life? Speaking of impact, Anne's most memorable weather moment on the island was the blizzard of 96. I wasn't on shift that day, but I felt guilty because I wasn't on shift. I felt guilty that I should be there helping. If she could have changed the forecast that day to avoid the snow, I'm sure she would have. You see, Anne is often asked to fix the weather. It's very easy to do, but there's a delay. <laughs> All joking aside, Anne says she loves her work and how it's evolved over the years with new technology and how more and more women have entered the field. When I started, there was just a few of us who were going out in the field like that, and that's changed a lot. Now we've got uh, women running all through their organization. It's, it's a career I'd certainly recommend. If not a career, maybe a hobby. But watch out. She says watching the weather is... It's obsessive, but wonderful. Yeah, I've kind of got the bug too. So thank you so much to Anne for uh, many years of great stories and just helping us make sense of it all. Victoria, Vancouver Island, we have so many microclimates. Hudson, she knows it all, knows how it works and is great at explaining it. She knows her stuff and I'm with her in snow, by the way. Yeah, uh, me too. Yeah. All right, Aspen, thank you. That You're was welcome. fun.